Hi, my name is Ron Fullerton, and this is the first 60 produced by Skidoo. In 1959, he made two 59s, and they went to Father Omet. And this is the third Skidoo made, but the first two were prototypes. They had a transmission. Uh, this is the first belt-driven 1960 Skidoo. It's number one. Uh, in the museum, book one, page one, the sled came from Brooks Equipment, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Um, Bombardier actually gave this sled to Father Straw. The five of the first 60 Skidoos went to uh, Catholic missionaries. Uh, he was very generous. He, um, I can show you on here, the, the third 60 went to Father Jovenson. The fourth 60 went to Father Jacobs. Um, each sled is got a brass tag and they're numbered. Um, they started out at number 10 and at 6012 they're all brass tag numbered. That's an SK710. The All 60 Skidoos came with a 7 horse Kohler motor. Um, Except for this one here, I'm not sure about the second Skidoo, but they, the muffler is right off of the Kohler motor on all the other ones. Uh, this specific sled, Bombardier handmade this uh, chain case. And he did a metal cover. And the, all the other 60 Skidoos have a rubber cover on them. One of the characteristics of a 60 Skidoo is the hoop is straight up and down, kind of unique. Coil springs, long, steering arm. Uh, the, all the 60 Skidoos had wooden skis. Um, the first 59 just had Bombardier on it, but all after that they all had Skidoo. I actually have original pictures of this sled from Brooks Equipment. And Mike Forbes painted the sled for me. And Roger Emerson helped me put the motor together. This is some of the collection of steel cab skidoos I have. And part of the history of my sled is that Richard, is, Richard Isfield bought the sled probably in around 1970. He was a Skidoo dealer. This is him winning a race in 1965. And uh, he had the sled for 50 years. Um, he just recently passed away and I was able to buy the sled from his family. Um, here's a write up on the sled a little bit that it that the sled went to Brooks Equipment, Winnipeg, Manitoba, and then they had it sent up to Windsor House, Manitoba, um, to the to Father Straw. And the history of it is that I'm assuming Bombardier gave the sled to Father Straw, a very generous person, and it was part of the part of his legacy that. He, he was a Catholic person, and uh, prior to giving away, prior to doing the snowmobiles, he he gave him other traveled vehicles like a B12. The sixty Skidoos, the the motor mount is 
bolted straight onto the sled. Uh, the 61, there's a rubber gasket on it. Um, what are some other... The, the bogies are the big bogey wheels with their metal. They're very quite heavy. This particular 60, the hoop is a little higher than the rest of the 60s. Tapered that down a little afterwards. Um, they all had a seven horse Kohler. That's the seven horse Kohler tag. They went with a thumb throttle in 1961. In 1960, it was a choke throttle. Um, I don't know if that should have a spring on it, but basically, if you, it would stay running if you did this. But uh, in 61, what they did is they put a leaf spring on the ski and a metal ski. In the 60, the spindle goes straight to the wooden ski. Um, it, it, it drags on the snow a little bit. It's a little tougher sled to ride than the metal ski, um, but it's very unique. I mean, they, they only made 229 60s, um, and they all had wooden skis. Um, shortly after that, the dealership started getting metal skis, and they put them on them. So most of the 60s after that were kept, they ended up putting metal skis on them. Um, the, the, the height of this is a little higher than the 61s. They're a little bit lower. Um, I don't know when. The, very shortly, they ended up putting Miller headlights on them, but the first sleds didn't have any headlights. Um, they actually put a little taillight on the corner here, so it had some red seat. Probably they legally had to do that, but um, the very first 60s didn't have a headlight. And then very shortly they had a Miller headlight with a gat, with a rubber gasket with the generator, and it spun off of the clutch, and that's what ran the headlight. Um, they didn't work very well, um, but they didn't have a magneto that ran a headlight. That's how they ran it. It's off the clutch. Um, the seat had a backrest. Not this one did not. The very first early original '60s had no backrest, um, but very shortly they did have a backrest. Um, each they just got better with each sled and changed them all a little bit as as, as they were producing them. The big bogies, by 1962, they went smaller, lighter bogies. They went a smaller chassis, much lighter, shorter skis. The 61 skis are the same length as the 60 wooden ski. Um, very shortly, the 62, same way when we got to fiberglass. In 63, they went fiberglass with a Rotex two-cycle. Uh, all the early... Every 60 was a four-stroke, seven-horse Kohler. In 1961, most of them were four-strokes, and they then they went with a JLO two-stroke motor on some of them, and they were quite a bit faster. And by 63, they were uh, introducing Rotex with very limited Kohler motors also. Um, the trappers, people like the reliability of the Kohler motor, um, but most people like how zippy the sled was when they went to the two-stroke um, Rotex motor. And that's what eventually made uh, Bombardier more famous. Of the two-stroke, they bought the company. I think a year later, a year shortly afterwards. So, Anyway, any questions? No, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I sometimes forget that what, what people would know or not.